Well, fried chicken. It's our passion, and who better to teach them how to fry chicken than two old good boys from Kentucky? Well, that's implying that we've perfected it somehow. And we need we, work. Yeah, we need some work. Let's do it. All right. Well, you know, one of the things about chicken is you don't want to just take it and cut it up, dredge it, and throw it in the fryer. You know, if you want to get the full flavor out, you want to marinate it. We got some buttermilk. Let me get some onion in there. I can't cook anything without onion, I don't think. We're going to put a lot of salt in there, so a couple of good pinches of salt. A lot of pepper, fresh pepper. ground. Now I love about anything also with garlic. And I like just a little bit of cayenne and some uh, lemon zest, fresh grated lemon zest in there. Now this is just cut up into six. We got breast, so we cut that. We got a nice little wing, left a little of that breast meat on there. I love that. Yeah. Some thighs and legs. What do we do with this, Brian? Well, we're going to cover this and we're going to throw it in the fridge. Overnight is best, okay? If you can let this over, go overnight, you're going to have uh, so much more flavor. So we pull our chicken out, seasoned flour. This is nothing but flour, salt, pepper, and some cayenne. We're going to dredge the chicken in here. And then here's an important step a lot of people forget. you got to let it sit. Put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, and then you'll be ready to go. And what do we got? We've got this right here. We kind of call this a do stage. It's kind of, you know, begin to get sticky. Don't let that scare you. That's the good part, because we're going to allow that next dip to stick to all this. Right, we want this to get nice and sticky for a good crust. We're going to dip this again into our dredging, and uh, we're going to be ready to fry. There it is, 350, Brian. We're ready to fry, buddy. All right, 350 degrees. We've got our oil, and uh, we're going to do a second dip. So how about I dip and drop them in and you uh, you man the grease? I'm gonna keep an eye on it. All right. So I'm gonna put, uh, how about some, how about some legs? Legs are good. All right, we'll start with that. This is what's cool about induction is that we have this grease at 350. This will shock it down quite a bit. It will. But I'm gonna bring it up. It'll recover and fry this chicken perfectly. The oil temp is so important. Too cold, we start to steam. Too hot, we start to burn. You gotta allow this to cook. Right. All right, see how the bubbles kind of slowed down, Brian? They're wanting to start to float here. That's southern fried chicken, my right, friend. If it wasn't for burning my fingers, I'd be grabbing it right off of that <laughs> right now. They begin to float, and the sizzle is slow. It's finished. If it's not, look at that. The guys out there, they're looking a little hungry. So we, I think we've got enough right here to start feeding them. So what do you think? Do you think we ought to just let them have at it? Let's chow down. All right, that's good looking fried chicken.